Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. Every week on Ask Dr. Barkin Call-In Show, we review some articles. These articles were discussed on March 16, 2010. Let's go now to the article. We are going to discuss predictors of positive surgical margin after laparoscopic robot-assisted radical prostatectomy. Let's look now at the purpose of this paper. We identified in this article, the writers write, positive surgical margin in a series of patients who underwent assisted laparoscopic radical prostatectomy. Materials and methods. They prospectively collected data from 322 patients who underwent robot-assisted laparoscopic radical prostatectomy for clinically localized prostate cancer. This patient did not receive any prior hormonal therapy. Let's look now at the results. They found out amazingly that the positive surgical margin were observed in 95 cases, which is 29.5, almost 30%. Specifically, positive surgical margin were at the apex, at the tip of the prostate, in 6.8%. At the anterior portion of the gland, they found in 1.6%. And posterior lateral, at the back and on the side of the gland, they found it in 21% of the patient. The preoperative variables were prostate volume on transrectal ultrasound, the clinical stage, the clinical stage, they were independent predictors of the presence of any positive surgical margin in the, this patient that had clinical T stage, C, TC. The biopsy and Gleason score were predictors of postlateral positive surgical margin too. Considering pathological variables, only extraprostatic extension of the primary tumor was independent predictor of any positive surgical margin. So let's look now at one issue here which is very important and that may be why I bring the issue, is the perineural invasion that on and off people found different significance when it comes to prognosis, but in this study they found that only only perineal invasion was an independent predictor of any positive surgical margin. They write that while a not statistically significant trend was identified with regard to the posterior lateral positive surgical margins. So it's important to know that pathological extension of primary tumor was the most relevant predictor of positive surgical margins. In patients with organ-confined disease, the presence of perineural invasion, presence of perineural invasion, was significantly associated with positive surgical margin. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Israel Barkin from Ask Dr. Barkin Call-In Show. The phone number for the show is 1-877-727-3301 every Tuesday evening, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Or if you want to record a question, you could call this number 1-877-727-3301 and record your question and we'll try to answer the question in one of the coming shows. Thank you.